Well, that was a, a decent performance tonight. Yeah, I'm pleased with the performance in, in terms of, I keep saying it, but if the players work hard and they give me their all, then um, I'm always happy because you, you can't always legislate, legislate for what goes on in the game. But um, the players, it's a difficult game in terms of, I think, Burton are good in possession. So you have to keep a good shape against them, otherwise they can keep the ball and play through you. And I thought the team worked hard, there were some good performances, but uh, I'm delighted with the, the effort of, of everyone tonight. There's a lot of comments made about this competition and perhaps attitudes can maybe slide in the game, but from the get-go, the players gave their all out there. We are not in a position, I don't think, where we can be certainly picking and choosing when we're going to put in uh, a performance because for people who weren't in the team, I've got to look at this cup as an opportunity to get in the team and that's what they have to do. So they can't be taking it lightly. Of course, the league's more important and you want to get points in the league. But any game you play gives a chance to impress and, and to be fair, we've still got players who've probably not had a chance and this has, gives them an opportunity to show what they can do. You made six changes to the starting lineup today. Idris Kanu starting, Theo Vassell starting at left back. How impressed were you with Theo at left back? He had a really solid game, really mature performance with Danny Pugh in front of him. Well, I think Theo, again, he's come from non league football. He's got a lot of good attributes, but you don't want to put him under too much pressure, I think. And um, we wanted to see him play and get tested, which he, he had a test tonight and he's come through it well. And then it gives you. Um, just another option then if you if you wanted to, to play him in the, in the first team. And obviously Idris, his confidence was high after scoring a goal, but instead of maybe throwing him in the deep end against uh, Milton Keynes, we wanted to see him play again in 90 minutes, which he's done tonight, and I think he's done very well. Ricky Miller said that he only needed one goal for his fortunes to start changing, and he took that goal really well tonight. Do you think this will give him that confidence going into the game on Saturday? <clears throat> Look, I think Ricky, um, he's gone from being a big fish at non-league level where he scored bags of goals. Moving into the Football League, it's obviously harder, um, but he's got to just play like he used to play without any sort of fear and without thinking about his game too much. He's an instinctive player. He's just got to play. He is off the cuff, and that's really what we wanted to do. We wanted to produce something. And if he if he just plays, you know, like he used to, doesn't think too much about a game, doesn't get uptight if he gives a ball away, then you know, hopefully he can get goals. But that's great for his confidence tonight, and I'm delighted he's got the goal. It's only the early stages, the first game of the checker trade tonight. But is it important to remind sort of everyone that at the end of this? You put in the wins and the performances, there's a, there's a chance of playing at Wembley at the end of it. Well, I mean, uh, I think when we have a good performance in the league, people get carried away. Then we have a bad performance. We go from, from good to, to rubbish and uh, equally in this competition, you're a long way away from Wembley. But there's always a chance, so you have to treat it seriously and you have to try and get through the, the group stages and then try and put a run together. But um, it's just a step tonight and it's a good step because it's a clean sheet. A goal for Ricky Miller, um, some players getting a, a 90 minutes under the belt and you have to, and I must give credit as well to Danny Pugh as well who's, you know, it, it's he's the age that he's at. Um, he's done tremendously well to play 90 minutes. He wasn't due to play but because of injuries, um, decided to play him from the start and he gave a really good performance. Now, we all know you're never one to give us hints about your team selection on Saturday, but performances out there, there's a, a few giving you a slight selection headache? I want to have selection headaches. Uh, I can assure you I've got a, enough headaches at the moment, but uh, I want to have selection headaches. I want everybody fit, and if I had everybody fit, then I still maintain that we can you know, match teams in this division. But um, it's got to be done on a consistent basis, but we have to prepare properly for every game. There'll always be reasons why you pick a team. It doesn't always 
come off and I think you can always be questioned of why you've done something but it's never you, you don't just throw a team together you obviously discuss it you prepare there's always a reason for it but sometimes you don't get the it doesn't have the desired effect but we've got to look at Saturday's opposition look at who we've got available because obviously we've got injuries and then we've got to come up with a, a, a team that we think can get results on Sunday.